How you doing, everybody? Today we're going to take a quick look at Cocaine Bear. This was directed by Elizabeth Banks and stars Kerry Russell, O'Shea Jackson Jr., and the late Ray Liotta. This is loosely based on real events. Very loosely. A drug smuggler drops some cocaine out of a plane and, inadvertently, himself. It all lands in the woods and a bear finds the cocaine. And after consuming the cocaine, it goes completely apeshit and starts murdering people. And in the midst of all this, we have a mother, played by Russell, trying to find her daughter who is lost in the woods, and a drug dealer, played by Leota, trying to recover his lost merchandise. Like I said, loosely based on a true story, but the actual story would not make a very good movie. What really happened was a drug smuggler dropped some cocaine in the woods, a bear found it, OD'd, and died. The end. The movie makes the story much more exciting by having the bear go on a drug-filled murderous rampage. And as bizarre as it may sound, I actually saw someone on Twitter claiming this movie sensationalizes cocaine use and actually makes cocaine appealing. I beg to differ. Cocaine Bear may very well be the greatest anti-drug PSA that I have ever seen. This is a bear. This is cocaine. This is a bear on cocaine. Any questions? I had an interesting experience seeing this in the theater because there was a group of young people who all brought these like homemade bear ears <laughs> into the theater, which at first I couldn't tell what they were because they came in when it was already dark and I'm like, what manner of bootleg Mickey Mouse shit is this? And then I saw them after the lights came up and oh, oh, bear ear. Okay, I get it. They were really into the movie too. They were loving it. And for the most part, so was I, although it is kind of a mixed bag. The acting is a bit uneven. Some of the cast were pretty good, like Kerry Russell and Ray Liotta, R.I.P. And the movie was dedicated to his memory, which was a nice touch. I don't know if this is actually his last movie or if he still has one in the can. I guess we'll find out. And the kids who played Kerry Russell's daughter and her best friend were fine. I've seen better child actors, but I have seen a lot worse too. Totally, it is a bit inconsistent, and it has some weird-ass plot threads that really don't go anywhere. There's this police detective who has been trying to get Ray Liotta's character behind bars for a long time, and he's gone to the woods to try to find whoever was smuggling all this cocaine. And there's this running... gag? It's... except it's not really that funny, where they keep showing him with this dog that he adopted, but he doesn't really want the dog, but then by the end of the movie, I guess he's changed his mind and he does like the dog now. It, it's weird. I honestly would not be surprised if the only reason this dog is in the movie is because somebody brought their dog to set one day and they all thought it was cute and said, hey, let's put it in the movie, and they just shoehorned it in. If that's not what happened, then they have no excuse. It does have some pretty funny moments. There's a moment early on when the kids are in the woods and they find one of the bricks of cocaine. And of course the boy is trying to look cooler than he actually is and is bragging like, oh yeah, me and my friends, we do cocaine all the time, sure. Just totally talking out his ass like kids do. They end up eating some of the cocaine because they're kids, they don't know what the hell they're doing. And it kind of goes like the cinnamon challenge almost, except I imagine doesn't taste nearly as good. I mean, I have no idea what cocaine actually tastes like, but I feel pretty confident that it does not taste like cinnamon. And that bear just destroys so many people in horribly gruesome fashion. So many horrible deaths in this movie. And the visual effects were actually fine considering this movie's budget. I didn't go into this expecting it to look like a hundred million dollar picture. I went into this expecting it to look like a movie called Cocaine Bear. This is a modern day B-movie and it looks and feels exactly like that. Overall, not the greatest movie I've ever seen. It has some issues, but I did have fun. And for what it's worth, the audience in my theater was totally into it. And at the end of the day, I was promised a movie where a bear does cocaine and goes on a rampage and that's exactly what I got. Can't get him for false advertising. I don't know if it's necessarily good enough to be worth paying full price, but it's definitely worth a matinee. And that's all I have to say about Cocaine Bear. Till next time, take care.